Hey there guys, okay, so I'm gonna take you along a journey of me just sort of getting to know a client's account. This is Bello Styles Barbershop in Grand Prairie, Alberta. Um, anyway, while I was there getting my hair done, we were talking about marketing because that's what I do, and he said, hey, I'm gonna need your help with something. So anyway, I already made a couple different videos about um, you know his needs but what this video is is just my first impression and when I go through the website how I experience it excuse me I think I'm also gonna have to look at this in the uh, white background version just so that I can get a better sense but anyway so they have a chat box that comes up which is great um, just again first impressions this would be great if it could be personalized um, how much do your products or service cost? Can you tell me more about your business? Can someone assist me? Can you recommend something for me? Well, how would I do that? But um, when you reply, okay, uh, yeah, I would customize, personalize this a little bit more. And I'm also curious to know uh, who put these questions and who decided to get the chat box. Like I'm curious about his previous marketing. Okay, so this is a pinned post. Um, yeah, I think that, uh, I don't know, I like to see images of people. People like to see themselves in the product. Um, it helps them to buy. So, oh, goodness. Um, yeah, and this doesn't need to be, this is a year old, right? This is more than a year old. So we have to have something else. I also think that this should have video here because it's very static, like, right? All the other sort of barber shop and me or someone else on the team is gonna do the research just to see what other top barber shop stuff look like. Um, right, so can anybody create a post? I'm curious about this. Bella Styles Barbershop is a multicultural based barber shop specializing in detailed fades, lineups, and designs. Okay, multicultural, what does that really mean? Just curious, what does that mean? Um, people follow people check in okay so this is something that I noticed there was no uh, you know I would love it if they had an app and it's like hey you know what like I don't know if people want to download that stuff anymore but you know what like like us or something on Facebook and uh, I don't know I'm just like trying to get more people to so uh, there needs to, like basically what this is what I'm trying to say when I left this when I left the barbershop nobody said hey can you leave us a review and I mean like I just told somebody I was gonna leave them a review and you know what it's like a bit of a pain like I don't actually want to stop and take the time to do it that's why it's really good to do it when when they're fresh right and it's like hey you know what let's take a picture of us behind this bellows post it on your page and tag us and then get 5% off your next whatever if you book within a certain amount of time I think that that will help create his whole regular thing and people will see the different styles all the time showing up on other people's feed that's the organic growth strategy that we use for Tony Nelson um right and then it can be um tag us and then instantly on their Facebook page or wherever they tagged you you just reply with a link that tells them to leave a review so they can leave a review on Google they can leave a review on Facebook and that's why the automated you know reputation management system that we have is really beneficial because I don't want to be going to all those different places to be leaving you reviews I mean I want to help you but I don't want to be doing all that so you can come out later you can come out now I'm just making a video sorta of for myself what are you drinking apple juice mm -hmm. in a beer mug like that mm -hmm. Anyhow, um, yeah, because I don't want to be leaving reviews on three and four different sites, so it's a lot better if there's just one thing. It follows up with me in an hour, boom, 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 click this. So anyway, I'm going to demonstrate that uh, product later on. But So something different should be pinned to the top. We're going to take a look at the website after. I'm not going to do an, oh my god, I am. I'm going to have to do a quick competitor analysis. Hot towel shave, forty-five dollars. Yeah, these should all have images. Maybe scrolling images. We got to see how many videos are on here. Twenty-two likes, five comments. Okay, what are these comments? 
Okay, it'd be great to have some more video. These are really still pictures. A lot of... Uh, okay, this is... Is this from this year? Okay. So I'm curious again to know who's posting these things. Who's managing his social media right now? A before and after would be good. Yeah, and more video. Definitely more video because there's, I mean, I can see the styles that you do, but what really differentiates yourself? I mean, this is pretty cool. And you know, these images aren't branded. You should have your logo here, have some kind of like fun imagery or something. I got to take a look to see if anything's going on with your stories. Who's managing that? Okay. Yeah. So, um, it does showcase the stuff again. I think you can use some video, uh, some humor, some other stuff, not just pictures of hair, hair, hair all the time. So yeah, we have lots of ideas about this. Okay, so I think that's fine. Um, yeah, so in terms of using this to gain leads, like tagging yourself is okay, but I think I saw a couple tags here that said Grand Prairie or a couple tags that said something, but it's not consistent. Like it's not being tagged all the time. There's, you know, you could totally intermingle this with some pricing. Like, yeah. Okay. So I completely know what we're going to do with this. Okay. That's fine. I'm going to take a look at the Instagram page, which I'm going to guess is probably going to be similar. Okay. Sure. And then we're going to go to the website. Okay, so this is the website. Um, a lot of white space here. I don't know why. definitely have some video okay so you've got your COVID messaging that's good all right send the cutting edge subscribe okay so what if I subscribe to this what information are you sending out do you have a do you have an email like newsletter strategy why would I sign up for this <clears throat> okay yeah follow us that's good but I would have that up at the top of the page anyway we have Maptum has 33 convert cash conversion strategies that you can put on your website to get more leads um, just a cut away a full-service multi-ethnic barbershop you see yeah, I'm gonna ask somebody here hey question for you if you're a white person and somebody is um, marketing a multi-ethnic barbershop. Do you feel that that's a place for you? Does it matter? For me, it depends on my current cultural surroundings. Okay. If that's something that's familiar to me already, then yeah, I'd rather go there because I know their lines are clean. But if that's yeah. something that's not familiar to me, then I'm like, no, I'll feel uncomfortable in that setting. Okay. And out of place. So I guess it is. Okay. Because the second I hear multicultural and culturally ethnic where you have to do that divider, I know that it's designated for people not white. Right, right, <laughs> right, right, right. So it's just interesting because this particular client wants to bring in more Caucasian clients. But it's not... That's not the approach. And I understand it. I understand that saying multi-ethnic seems inclusive. No, it's but exclusive. Exactly. Yeah, it's for, a, for, for a white person, it's it says isolating. it's a... Br yeah, it's like that's not really no, a place for isolating. me. Okay. What you have to do is subtle images that show... Exactly. And everybody people. on here is like... Yeah. 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 Okay. My See, this is market research. Gotcha. Thank you for participating. Well, <coughs> anyway... I don't think a website's that important. I don't think people are really going online to get websites unless you're going to start providing content or getting reviews on here. Google is, well, I'm going to check because I don't know because there maybe you don't have a lot of competition. So we'll take a look. Um, but yeah, you could revamp your website, but I know that that's not a priority right now. 
And I know you have, okay, let's, let's take a look at your services. Okay. Um, <clears throat> when I was looking at your website, I'm not a guy, so some of these things weren't clear to me, but I guess these guys know what they're looking for. So anyway, I like this site. I like all the images. It's very clear. Okay, if I want this, if I want to design, it's going to cost me that much. This is how much it is for kids. This is extra. Like, this page is very clear. This logo looks... Yeah, the site doesn't <coughs> the site doesn't render well, so I'm curious to know who did it. If it was like a professional or if you guys kind of oh, it was done by GoDaddy website builder. Okay, no. We want a website on WordPress. But that's fine. Like I said, this is not a priority right now. About us. Latino Beloso. Okay, he's the owner of Vision Coming to Grand Prairie to open a barbershop where everyone can feel comfortable. It was missing a niche in Grand Prairie. We determined to fill over a decade experience. I decided not to open my own shop, but expand clients. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, these are the people. All right, this sh these should have pictures and a little story. That would personalize it a little bit. Okay, so you do have a photo gallery here. Same two pictures all the time. So we definitely need to update that. And now I'm going to take a look at your... I don't want to sign in with this one. I want to sign in with... Peace are you cold or yeah. are you just bored? Freezing. No, I was, I was cold too. Was Marcus freezing. was saying it was nice out. It yeah, it is cold. But if I'm inside, I'm going to be inside for seven hours. No, I want to stay outside till midnight. Yeah, I'll be in soon. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So, 737 followers. We want to increase this. Uh, I'm just curious to know who he's following and why. Satisfies customers of business strategy of all. That's a, that's a cool... That's a cool thing. I would definitely have some more. I would have some more um, options here. Uh, what is this? Okay. Only thirty weeks ago. Yes, yeah, so I made another video with some ideas. Um, okay, yeah, I know this needs more sexiness to it. Like, I've got, like, Steph the Barber. Shit, this is not who I want. Where is he? Okay, so just just cute, just like cute videos, lots of hashtagging and stuff going on, right? So, but the thing is, you or your team is going to have to be like really committed to doing this, <laughs> right? And it doesn't have to be all the time. You can maybe get volunteers, like, you know what, here, here, you're looking for a promotion, right? So... Just say, hey, you know what? We're looking for video or marketing apprentices, right? To come and do some film for us in exchange for like a free cut or, you know, stuff to put in their portfolio, right? They're going to show off their stuff. So you're going to get organic leads that way. But then their parents are also going to really respect what you're doing. And then you can get them as clients. It's like, hey, bring your parents in. Let your parents support you. So... You know, again, these are just like some ideas, but um, I mean, I know these are all girls, so I mean, they're just pretty to look at. Another thing is it's really good to show the, the full face and the side too, because I find that there's a lot of, um, there's a lot of side shots and that doesn't really connect with the audience. Like I understand from a business point of view, from a business owner's point of view, you want to show your work which is great, but that's not what psychologically connects with the audience. So, yeah. <clears throat> okay, yeah, I would have a whole bunch of stuff. I would have some pricing. So we would definitely be doing the banners. Um, we would definitely be branding your stuff. We'd be posting some of these pictures to your thing. So that's like, that has to be done maybe monthly, I would say. Quarterly is pushing it, but at least monthly where you're like uploading pictures and 
you know, I have contests and shares and check-ins. Like we have a whole social media strategy success um, program with this. So yeah, and then let me see. I think there's tracks. Okay. Um, yep. So lots of different pictures. Yeah. It's just a matter of being connected to you want to break it up too. like this is just a funny picture because just hair, hair, hair all the time. <clears throat> you know, but what this does showcase with everybody is what they're good at. So that would be like, do you have a signature thing? Like, what's your signature thing? I know that you want to create community. And let me make sure that I am indeed. Yeah, I know that you want to create community and have it be a place that's not just about here and I totally get that so we're gonna have to figure out ways to build community in a new COVID society um, but um, like what's your signature thing so that other guy was you know stylish sort of women he seems to do like a lot of a lot of different things with black hair right whether it's straightening or locks and this is just from going just through like a quick a quick a quick run through that you know oh okay yeah he does a lot of of different things um yeah so what's your signature thing and um and then you also have to look at your demographic and and you know sorry i'm just saying you have to look at your demographic because statistically speaking more women are on instagram and facebook than are men so where are the men where are the men hanging out online and where should you know bellow styles be so that they can be found yeah of course we can post to facebook and instagram for sure and we can totally test that and see how it grows but we also sort of have to think outside of the box remember the ten commandments you can't just use one or two strategies you have to use a lot of different strategies and there are a whole bunch of things that we can do outside of that. So I'm getting cold. So I want to take a look now. I'm going to look for, um, um, I'm going to look for black. Oh no, 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 no. Okay. I'm going to look for black barbershops. Grand Prairie. Okay. Ooh, Chile. Okay, so these are who comes up. So I'm going to ask you about your competitors. So Black Collar Barbershop. Wait, this is the wrong place. I said in Grand Prairie. What the hell is wrong with you? Grand Prairie, Alberta. Ugh. Yes, that's what I said I wanted. Okay, these addresses and phone numbers look more make more sense. There's Bello Styles. Woo, shows up wonderful with 98 reviews more reviews than anybody and pretty good reviews too still over four or five so that's really great so i would like to know how this has been happening how you know are people just leaving reviews on their own so that's really good another thing that we always do and marcus will make note because he's probably going to be the one on this account oh and he's already listed in some directories so that's really good for local marketing so this is good but look what he's under like black hair salons which is fine but if we're expanding outside of that, you know, we need to figure out what additional keywords we need. Um, yeah, so Bellows Barbershop 98. Uh, yeah, so what we would do is we take a look to see what the reviews are and what people are saying. You know, because then you can sort of get a sense of you know, what your what your main selling point is. Is there something that gets repeated over and over again so um I want to see the reviews okay so there are some photos there <clears throat> that's great all right so this should definitely be marketed all of these should be marketed two months ago uh, good for two for cleanliness professionalism yeah so these are things that I would be marketing I'd be marketing this because that's clearly important um yeah we're gonna have to maybe change this whole branding um and take a look at what people care about because it may not be this okay so these are the competitors that may be <clears throat> no, i'm not gonna do it one of my the mild apprentices someone's gonna have to do the uh, competitive research on that um 
I want to see. I want to see one star. Can I do it like that? Oh my nose! More Google reviews. Okay, so sort by newest. Uh, three days ago, one photo. Okay, well, I don't know. I don't want to do that. Oh, come on. Okay. Um... Okay, so three, I will be back, professional atmosphere, okay. Okay, so this has most relevant. I don't know what that means. I want to see what the newest ones are. Three days ago, four weeks ago, professional, cleanliness. The best place, okay, to get a fair, uh-huh, four, five, yep, cleanliness, five, two reviews. Two months, two months ago. Oh, nice, this is really good, this is positive. So this is really good. I would definitely be marketing this. I would definitely be putting these guys on a reputation management plan for sure. And that's another thing when marketing, right? You only have a certain amount of marketing dollars. It's like, where do you put it? You know, but there are steps and stages. Um, yeah, okay, so three months ago. So um, I want to say highest ratings. Okay, cleanliness doesn't matter, same thing. Nice, good, good, good. Top notch, first barber. Very nice. Oh my goodness, I feel so badly. I haven't left my review yet. Very good. I love it. Okay, I would totally be making a video out of this too. Okay, and then I want to see what people did not like. Okay, has this been addressed? No, these guys need to respond to this. Oh, it's a year ago. Okay, should still be responded to. Well, who are you? Take a picture, apologize. Okay, so timing is an issue, something that they're gonna have to um, work on their booking. Okay, so hopefully things like this have improved. So this is something that I would be talking to the client about. Okay, this is something that they need to address. Okay, everything else is good. Everything is three and up. Okay, and then I would just want to quickly go back and I would want to check the pictures. Um, how can I do that? Oh, I know it's in the top right hand corner yep and then I would get someone else to do the competitive research but uh, Bella Styles. yeah so people have all of these options yep let me this is what I want to see yeah you got to think about you know who comes in when the type of music who's gonna want to listen to what okay so is that it for pictures okay well it doesn't really look like that anymore Um, by the owner. Yeah, definitely need to refresh. So yeah, we need like somebody in on a 
We need to do like a promo event, charity event, something coming up for Christmas, invite the media, um, you know, some really white charitable cause where you're donating, you're, you're donating haircuts or something. You could do something for November for November. I don't know if, you know, we have time to brainstorm that. Um, something from November, donate something or whatever. I don't know. Come in, do beards, line up some, you know, whatever. Uh, but yeah, anyway, so th those, that's my initial feedback. Um, God, I don't want to do this. I don't want to get sucked into this. But yeah, um, normally my guys would also do this competitive research. I really am going to get Marcus to do this. I'm not going to do this. The client has to sign on board first and pay some money so that I can pay someone to do it. I'm not donating all this extra work right now. <laughs> okay. I think that's it. I think that's pretty cool.